Lori has a national news journalist you might remember for anchoring such things as CNN Newsroom. Who is he? Lori, tell us who you have on today's Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, thank you so much for tuning in to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm your host, Lori Rosales. I am so excited about today's show because today's guest is the host of the History Channel series, The Proof is Out There. In this series, he is joined by experts exploring the truth behind videos, pictures, audio recordings of seemingly impossible things. Emmy Award-winning journalist Tony Harris will be joining us right here on Sidewalks Entertainment, so do not change that channel. From the History Channel series, The Proof is Out There. I'd like to welcome Emmy Award winning journalist Tony Harris to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, Tony. Thank oh, you so Lori, much for good joining to be us. with you. Yeah, it's great. It's great to see you. Good to be with you. Thank you. you. You've been a journalist for over 30 years. How did your career as a journalist begin? I, um, I was a transistor radio kid, so I probably really dated myself now. Yeah, I was a transistor radio kid growing up, and, and, and I just you know, I, I decided pretty early. I decided pretty early that this is the space that I wanted to work in. And, you know, I didn't know that I wanted to be a journalist at the time, but I, I, I knew that I wanted to be in broadcasting in some way, shape, or form. And I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, so I had terrific role models. I, I, I was growing up in Baltimore when Oprah Winfrey, for example, was working in the market. So, you know, I, I got to see people who looked like me on television in my city, and, and that's how I decided. That's it. And, that, you know, that's the way it happens for a lot of people. They see people who look like them doing something that seems unattainable, and, and, and then they see those people and, okay, I can do that. And so um, at some point, I think I turned, I started in entertainment, actually. I was working for Entertainment Tonight and doing, and doing that kind of work, and the real journalism started um during the first gulf war and I, I started anchoring in cleveland and then in atlanta and then in baltimore and uh and then did some long form stuff in los angeles and uh it, it's just been this incredible ride and i've just tried to stay open to the next opportunity and it's the curiosity more than anything Lori, you know this is it's the curiosity that drives mm -hmm. us to do this work that we do and and i've tried to stay open and and, and to the next opportunity and you know, I do consider myself a storyteller, and I've always looked for genres and spaces where I can put my little flag down and, and say, all right, let's do some storytelling in this space. So when this opportunity came along, I kind of jumped at it. I knew that there was a, a really good moment that was developing here, that this area of exploration was being taken more and more seriously. It wasn't mm -hmm. just the realm of folks who were being called kooks and quacks, right? Oh, UFOs, this, that, and the other anomalies and humanoids. Ugh. No, that, that more and more serious-minded people were looking into this space. And at the point that you got congressional hearings happening on Capitol Hill and military pilots are saying, I'm flying and I'm seeing things that I can't identify, you know, we feel like we've hit the moment with the show and it's been it's been a great ride so when you reflect back on your work from when you first started out to now uh, apart from your work on the proof is out there what has been your most memorable experience of your career so far i, I two things come to mind Lori. um i was working on a series a limited series for um, discovery id called um, hate in america and it was an exploration of, of hate in the country. And this was 2015 to, yeah, 2014, 2015. And, and I got to travel the country and, 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 and see the rise in militia groups and what was happening in the country and, and how we were being torn apart more and more day by day by, you know, all of the discourse in our political environment. So I, I, I got an opportunity to work on what I thought was, was a terrific um, limited series uh, can't thank the folks at Discovery ID enough for greenlighting that project for us. And it just gave me a view of the country that, you know, I certainly didn't get from an anchor desk, right? So there's that piece. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing that comes to mind is my work in the Middle East and getting the opportunity to work for Al Jazeera in the Middle East covering the Arab yeah. Spring. That was in 2011. Uh, and, and to see people 
who were willing to fight and die for freedoms that we sometimes take for granted in the United States. That was that was eye opening. I, I think that experience opened my eyes in so many ways and, and kind of changed the trajectory of my career. And so uh, I think of those two experiences, the, the limited series Hate in America for Discovery ID and then the work in the Middle East during the Arab Spring in 2011. Now, in the series, the proof is out there on the History Channel. In this series, you're joined by experts in search yeah. of the truth behind videos, photos, and audio recordings of seemingly impossible things. Some might say that there is more to discover in Earth's oceans than there is in the vastness of space. Now, in your experience working on In the Proof is Out There, what are your thoughts on this statement? I love every word of that every <laughs> word of that we yeah we're we're doing space exploration you know there's a lot of activity going on there there are a lot of resources being devoted to the exploration of space you know our universe other universes right the james webb you know telescope so there there's a lot being done in that space i am absolutely fascinated by what's in the seas yeah. Uh, to the point, Lori, where I'm <laughs> going to take a dive class. I am literally going to take a dive class. I'm going to school to learn to dive. Oh, wow. So, because so you're just going to go down there and find out for yourself. I, <laughs> I, and hopefully live to tell the tale. But yes, I, I am fascinated by what's in the seas, and I, I'm looking forward yeah. to more and more videos uh, from, you know, from the waters of the world. Uh, because I think that's so exciting and so fascinating, and there's so much to learn there. So, well, I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. <laughs> so, are <laughs> we going to get a chance to, you, to see you scuba diving in the series "The Proof Is Out There"? Well, here's what I will tell you. Here's what I will tell you. Here's the great thing about about what's happening for for our show. At the History Channel, we're we're getting an opportunity to do to actually kind of gain a, a bigger footprint on the channel. We are the Bigfoot of History Channel, right? Along with Shatner, mm -hmm. uh, right, right, and the ancient <laughs> aliens team. But no, they're giving us an opportunity to expand our footprint. And so, you know, we've got shows coming up that are dedicated to the Skinwalker Ranch team. We've got shows that are coming up that are dedicated to a new show that's coming to the History Channel in November about the Bermuda Triangle. So. Uh, I say, look, keep watching us. Um, you never know where you'll find us, not yeah. just on the History Channel, but on some of these other platforms as, as well. So, you know, it's a terrific time for the show. It's a terrific time for the team. And I'm just really excited and happy to be along for the ride. Well, I am very much looking forward to it. Tony, I had such a great time speaking with you today. Thank you so much. You are a joy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Everyone, be sure to watch Tony Harris in the series The Proof is Out There on the History Channel. You take care, Tony. Yeah, thank you, Lord. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.